To accompany our lamb shank, we're going to make a wild mushroom risotto. And I've chosen to use these dried mushrooms here um, in our risotto for a couple of different reasons. Uh, first, price. They are a steal compared to fresh wild mushrooms. But the most important thing about these mushrooms is that they won't disintegrate once they get reconstituted with hot water and get folded into our risotto. Whereas fresh mushrooms, especially wild ones with different colors, will when they will bleed a, a grayish, kind of brownish color to our risotto and will also disintegrate and fall apart once we fold them in. In this container here we have uh, some wild mushrooms. It looks like there's a nice mixture of uh, some shiitakes. Uh, we got some, some oyster mushrooms. There's some, uh, some black trumpets in here and uh, probably some lobster mushrooms. So this is a forest blend mix. Uh, you can buy these either together as a mix or separately as each individual mushroom. And what we're going to do is just add some hot water to them. This will reconstitute the mushrooms, give them a nice, uh, nice texture, and also bring out some more of the, the flavor in the, uh, the, that are captured in the dried mushrooms. We have some hot water right here on the line. Kind of fill it up. And we're just going to set these aside over here for about 20 minutes or so until they get nice and soft. As you remember, we rehydrated some dried mushrooms before. I'm going to go ahead and take some out here. You can see they're, uh, they're nice and moist and they don't fall. I can tug on these a little bit and they don't, they don't really fall apart like, uh, like ordinary mushrooms would. So what we're going to do is just kind of give them a, a nice little rough chop especially the uh, shiitakes, make sure they're in uh, multiple pieces. A nice little rough chop there. And then we're going to fold some of them into our risotto. I'm going to take some over here, put them in our risotto. I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. basically just fold them back into the risotto.